Okay. Show me. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel. And I've got something uh, a bit uh, different uh, for you today. As you can see, I'm wearing a uh, backpack. I got this from, uh, from Banggood, and obviously there's a link in the description uh, down below. And as you may or may not know, I often go uh, backpacking or maybe on a bicycle uh, to uh, do uh, quadcopter flying. And I was uh, looking for a better backpack. Now this is this backpack here is not uh, really designed for uh, to carry quadcopters, but as you can see, I can easily take two quadcopters, and actually I could strap another quadcopter to the side of the the pack pretty easily. And this is a slingshot kind of deal. Uh, not uh, two straps. And to me, this is a lot more convenient. You can take it off and on with one hand, very convenient. And try doing this with a regular backpack, right? So, um, yeah, obviously, I'll uh, show you the details of this uh, backpack uh, in a minute uh, as well. Uh, what I carry in this uh, backpack. It's quite spacious. I can easily take uh, more than I need to go uh, FPD flying for an afternoon uh, in this backpack. But uh, this is what it looks like. And again, this uh, backpack is more uh, designed to do uh, um, survivaling maybe, or uh, hiking. It's not designed at all for uh, quadcopter use as I'm uh, doing uh, right now, but it does work out. And it's of very high quality and that's uh, not unimportant. In a minute I'll also tell you why I went for this one and not one specifically designed for this use. And um, yeah, let's step into the studio and I'll show you what I carry in this backpack. Okay, so there it is, up close and personal. And um, like I said, I'll show you what I've got uh, on and in this uh, backpack here. Um, as you'll see, more than you probably expect. But first let me explain why I got this one. It's called the Free Soldier backpack from uh, Banggood. And yeah, Free Soldier. It's more of a survival or maybe hunting uh, day trip kind of a backpack. Not at all designed for RC use uh, as I'm using it for right here. So again, why did I uh, go for this one over a purpose-built backpack meant for RCing? And uh, indulge me, have a look in the link down below uh, at the product page of this backpack. As you will see, this is not an inexpensive backpack at all. There are far less expensive backpacks around. There are also obviously more expensive backpacks, but I think this is one of the most expensive backpacks or the most expensive backpack uh, at Banggood. And if I spent this amount of money, at the moment uh, I bought it, it was around 100 euro. So if I spent that amount of money, I want that backpack to be multi-purpose, right? I don't want to spend a hundred dollars and then only have an RC backpack. I want to uh, be able to use it uh, for uh, day trips, maybe on a holiday or uh, camping trips and uh, going into the woods, uh, but also like this for RC use. Um, otherwise, I'd have to spend another maybe hundred dollars on a, a regular backpack, right? So that was my thinking, that's what I bought this for and it was a little bit of a gamble. You can't uh, have a feel uh, for uh, the backpack uh, before you uh, get it in when you order it uh, from Banggood of course. So yeah, it was a bit of a gamble but it uh, worked out very well I think. There's uh, more than enough room for what I generally carry on a uh, an afternoon of uh, RC flying and it is very rugged it is very well made uh, YKK uh, metal zippers very nice 
and the material used is uh, very very durable even though I've only had the backpack for a couple of weeks this feels very durable there's some padding uh, obviously at the back so um, I, my backpack is pretty heavy like this you'll uh, understand that when I show you what I've got uh, in and on the backpack but it still is comfortable to wear like this okay what have I got on and in this backpack now the first thing you obviously notice is my uh, favorite two quadcopters at the front here this is my uh, Gap RC AX4 self-built uh, built, uh, light quadcopter and at the rear the Diatone Crusader GT2 at this moment these are my two favorite uh, uh, full size racing quadcopters so um, they are held on with these straps and yes those straps come with the backpack um, if these uh, hold down uh, the quadcopter uh, more than uh, secure enough but uh, if you don't like these you could opt to go for a velcro strap maybe but uh, really this this works out and uh, like I said this backpack comes with two of these straps okay taking off the Crusader is a little more fiddly but that's okay you don't want it to fall off <laughs> while riding your bike and in the pouch over here there's a pouch which is also secured with a strap like that over here I've got a uh, real tripod a metal heavy-duty tripod now um, most RC flyers don't uh, bring a uh, a uh, tripod uh, to the field uh, most of the time I think but uh, yeah I'm a youtuber so I need a tripod you can uh, obviously also opt to use this pouch for a bottle of uh, water that's that's nice next up is this pouch over here in which I carry all my flight batteries and how many flight batteries have I got over here two four Six, eight, ten. Ten flight batteries. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what I uh, usually bring out on a, uh, an afternoon of uh, RC flying with my quadcopters. Ten packs. The, the pouch wasn't completely stuffed like this. So uh, twelve lipos would have been uh, possible as well. But... Um, yeah, uh, 10 lipos is, I think, more than uh, most people bring uh, at a, uh, an aquacopter uh, flying uh, session. Okay, and this pouch does have uh, some elastic bands in it, so you can uh, secure something down. Oh, I also have a uh, prop wrench uh, in, uh, in this pouch, a very small one, and uh, that's about it. No other fasteners or uh, so oh, there's there is I hadn't even noticed it there's a pocket over here to separate things out hmm. okay I hadn't even noticed it okay that's that pouch okay next up is the upper level of the, the second pouch which is uh, approximately three times the size of this top pouch and it's uh, secured with this buckle and a zipper in here I don't really have a whole lot I've got uh, spare propellers uh, one set for my uh, four inch quadcopter and uh, one set and another set yeah three sets in all three sets of spare propellers Two sets for my uh, GT2 Crusader and one set for the 4 inch quad. Um, I could fit a whole lot more in this pouch. And as you can see you've got uh, hook up points over here as well to uh, secure whatever kind of, uh, of shape of quadcopter down with, with straps. Um, yeah, uh, This one was secured like this uh, stock but uh, there are multiple options here. Then on the lower level of this pouch I've got an FPV monitor and that's again something um, 
most FPV flyers won't carry with them but I generally use this FPV monitor for, for its uh, DVR function to record my flights and in this pouch you've got one extra layer, two extra layers and three extra layers and a, uh, a lanyard and I could easily fit three of those monitors in this pouch so I don't really use this much at all yet uh, maybe I uh, will uh, carry a pad in the, in the future I'm looking out for a Windows 10 pad to uh, do some tuning with in the field but uh, yeah again at this moment I only carry this monitor in this pouch then for the main attraction the main compartment underneath these two pouches spans the entire width and height of the backpack so it's one large compartment and the zippers open up very generously so that's good in here I carry a FPV a goggle now for the purpose of this video I uh, stuffed a uh, very big my biggest FPV goggle in there obviously a smaller one <laughs> would also fit but uh, so uh, yeah this uh, Cyclops Genesis uh, fits in there uh, easily with its uh, aerials on there so uh, yeah that's that's pretty nice next thing I have in this compartment is a radio pouch with my Futaba radio and as you can see a smaller pouch would uh, also be possible but uh, this uh, fits just fine now I told you you were gonna be surprised by uh, what I can stuff in this backpack in the top of this uh, pouch I've got a full size 15 inch uh, laptop and again yeah this does make the pouch a bit heavy uh, which is why I'm looking for a approximately 10 inch pad, Windows pad. So, but uh, yeah, for now I uh, take uh, some, uh, not all the time by the way, but I sometimes take my laptop out in the backpack. And that is actually it. Um, Here is that uh, pouch I got uh, the laptop uh, in, uh, which uh, can be secured with a buckle, as you can see. There's uh, two. I'm not sure if that's visible but there's two extra pouches in here and at the bottom you've got an extra buckle and a zipper which opens up two compartments over here underneath that there's a, another compartment in which you could <laughs> stuff another laptop uh, which uh, yeah uh, if you <laughs> if you want to weigh down your backpack really uh, but uh, okay so um, yeah you could actually even use this backpack for work I guess if you uh, carry your laptop uh, to work now the backpack also came with this here strap which can be secured uh, to the top over here with uh, two buckles and at the bottom uh, there's another buckle uh, this is really more for uh, uh, small trip survival stuff so you can uh, secure a tarp to your backpack a bed roll or, or anything uh, like this but uh, yeah um, I don't do a whole lot of surviving so I don't really use this strap okay lastly um, this is the shoulder strap which is very wide which is uh, obviously nice because you've only got that one strap uh, it's uh, fully padded as is the back of the, the backpack that's nice and you've got a uh, hookup points uh, over here as well maybe you want to secure down a, uh, a torch or something and uh, hookup points over here as well and over here as well you've got a heavy duty metal uh, clamp over here or hook and um, yeah that's about it I guess yeah that's it's for, oh no I, I forgot one thing there is another pouch over here on the side over here and you can access this uh, pouch very easily if you uh, swing it on to your front if you're carrying uh, the backpack 
So this could be a, a nice pouch for uh, maps, for instance, if you are backpacking in an uh, unfamiliar uh, place. So uh, very easy to access this uh, pouch while you're on the move. So that's pretty nice. It is not very big and um, you could stuff a pad in there, but not a laptop. It's a smaller pad over here. Two more things. You uh, got a padded handle at the top, so you can carry the backpack as a regular bag. And you've got this handle at the side of the backpack. And that uh, you use to swing the backpack uh, to your front if you are carrying it uh, on your back. Uh, you also have a bit of uh, Velcro over here. If you want to use that to strap things uh, down. Um, I generally don't really use that. Uh, there's a uh, horizontal pocket over here and a horizontal pocket over here. Yeah, um, in the description of this uh, backpack at Banggood, uh, they uh, mentioned that it's uh, purpose built for, uh, for instance, archery. So, yeah, you could uh, stuff your arrows in here, maybe. So, uh, well, this is another pocket that I don't really use, but uh, who knows, maybe I will in the future. Okay, so that's pretty much it, but as this is a review, I uh, should close with my uh, thoughts on this backpack. Now, my thinking was, if I buy the most expensive backpack at a budget uh, supplier, I should be in good shape. And so far that has worked out very well. This thing is very well made. The quality of materials and the zippers and buckles is of uh, very high quality. Um, I can't really imagine this thing falling apart within uh, 10 years. Well, depends a bit on uh, what you use it for. Uh, I don't really know, I haven't checked, but they probably tell you that it's waterproof. <laughs> um, but uh, it's obviously not waterproof. If you go on and uh, swim <laughs> with this uh, backpack on, uh, you'll get uh, water in it. Uh, in rain though, I've had a few times uh, where I was uh, caught off guard by the rain. Um, this will protect your gear against rain. Well, everything that's inside the backpack won't get wet, so that's nice. It's comfortable to wear and so far I have not found any downsides. It is obviously not a purpose-built backpack for RCU, so you don't have specially made uh, pockets in the backpack for, uh, to fit a quadcopter in. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really care. I, uh, I like strapping my quadcopters uh, to the outside of the backpack. So uh, yeah, that's it. I am actually very uh, happy with this uh, backpack. Uh, I used to use a uh, regular sports backpack, but this one works a lot, out a lot better. It protects my gear far better because it's made out of a very rugged material. So um, yeah, I'm happy. Um, tell me what you think, what are your impressions and uh, do I recommend this backpack? Yes, wholeheartedly. Again, it is of very high quality. And one thing I should also mention, if you've had a look at the sales page, um, it's available in three colors and black is my favorite color. So I opted for the black one. It's also available in two sizes, small and large, I think. This is the larger one of the two. And yeah, um, I just uh, play it safe there. Uh, you never really know how big the small or the large one is, so I opted for the large one. I think I could have gone for the small one as well, especially if you use a smaller FPV goggle. Um, yeah, so, well, that's it. Uh, I won't uh, take up uh, more of your time. Uh, if you have uh, questions or suggestions, hit me up a comment down below. If you are not subscribed yet, please do, helps me out, thank you very much, and hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.